Okay, 619 North Tweed. Chris, I'm, I'm ashamed that on this one end here where I had the cock was coming up and this is where I finished the job at and I used pieces and I shouldn't have used the pieces. Anyway, um, we're going to replace the siding one, two, three, four, five up all the way around 619 all the way. And with that, of course, replace the trim here that has pieces in it. And all of these electrical supplies will be uh, trimmed out. So the siding runs against the trim, not behind this. These will be pulled out. They'll be framed in. Even that big hole, with, that'll have a little frame around it. And that will all be sealed. Look at these holes. <laughs> all of those. And then up there, we'll recock the trim. The trim is fine up there. Everywhere else on the complex, it's just back here where there were some pieces. That's it. All Everything will be pressure washed. We'll go with a pressure washer and pressure wash this whole thing. Everything. We will, the stuff that's up on the deck, we'll slide it over pressure wash put it back P pressure wash obviously you start at the top when you're pressure washing this that's about 35 feet up there all that will be pressure wash that gable end will be cocked all of this five up one two three four five all the way around the siding shouldn't be going against the metal here. It should have a piece of what they call pro trim. Five quarter, four inch pro trim will go around. Same as boxed in like I was talking about earlier. Any holes will be filled. New corners going five up. All of this trim is fine. This whole, It's beautiful. It just needs to be re-cocked. Just needs to be recocked. Five up, go five up. All of that, all this will be painted underneath here, scraped and painted. That we have to get something on that metal on those stairs to stop the rust. I'll buy some rust stuff. All this will be painted. Any things that needs to be cocked will be cocked. These will have new corners. Anything in here will not have the new siding on it. Any of the entrances will not have new siding in there because it doesn't need it. So five around all the way. In here, we'll go one, two, three here. We don't want to start replacing siding if you don't need it. Um, these corners have to be pulled off pulled up to about right here one two three four here sand and do the best that we can with these metal doors we're gonna put a belly band on the bottom of these it'll be probably seven and a half inches wide and then this will all be painted we'll do a little sanding on the numbers maybe the numbers will uh, we can I'll just put it really light there maybe that will come through we'll see how that works we'll put a, do a little bit of repair here but these storages we'll just uh, do the best we can with them and get them done uh, one two three four five corners here and then we're going five up again two four five up, up on these uh, this trim is good I, I did nice on the trim up above and then down here it's just in that one area where we ended up at all of these will be boxed in boxed in we're not going to countersink any of the new trim that we put in else we have to countersink everything else to match it we'll do something here actually the the reason that this this is kind of tells you the whole story of why the cracking on the caulk is because it's moving. Even where they sprayed that insulation, even that is spreading out. The building's moving. It's just the way it is, just moving a little bit. In the front here, 
All these pillars, of course, will be painted. That needs to be screwed back in up there. Uh, we're going to really try our best to see what we can do with that one. But the other pillars are just fine. There are four of these shutters that need to be replaced. That's a custom size. So two of the four that need to be replaced, I'm going to try to I'll snap a line and cut it and see if I can make it look right. Here's the way that they're going to come. This is the one that an aftermarket one that's been bought. That's the way that they're going to look. But the, the smaller ones we're going to have to cut because the smaller ones up there, right there, need to be replaced. And they don't make them that size unless I'll do my homework, see if I can find them. But otherwise we're going to cut the big ones just to replace those. All of these holes will be filled in the concrete. All them holes where they had stuff hanging. Everything will get re-nailed. There are, this T111 is really rough up here. We're going to fix all of that. Screw back in all the dryer vents. Um, I wanted to go back in this area. In fact, I'll stop this video.